request of BZBI's clergy, Deb developed an alternative Shabbat service called Shabakti. It is the embodiment of teachings of Torah through a physical yoga practice, a practice that awakens the voice and expression of the divine spirit that lives in all of us, or as Deb likes to put it, prayer in motion. Um, and Shabakti has uh, evolved again in this era of uh, COVID and online services. And if you have not had the privilege of taking part, which I, uh, from personal experience, can highly recommend, um, it is Shabakti is taking place tomorrow, and all the details are in the uh, the econ that went out earlier this week. Uh, Deb received her yoga tr teacher training certification in 2008 from Diana Yoga, and her medical degree long before that. She is a urologist at Thomas Jefferson University and a Philly top doc for her day job. And uh, Deb, we are delighted to hear your Torah this morning. Thank you. Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Um, will you help me? Can you help me? You don't need to be helped any longer. You've always had the power to go back to Kansas. I have. Then why didn't you tell her before? She wouldn't have believed me. She had to learn it for herself. What did you learn, Dorothy? Well, I, I think that, that it wasn't enough just to want to see Uncle Henry and Auntie M, and that's it. It's that if I ever go looking for my heart's desire again, I won't look any further than my own backyard because if it isn't there, I never really lost it in the first place. Is that right? That's all it is. But that's so easy. I should have thought it for you. I should have felt it in my heart. No. She had to find it out for herself. Now those magic slippers will take you home in two seconds. Oh, Toto 2? Toto 2. Now? Whenever you wish. Close your eyes and tap your heels together three times and think to yourself, there's no place like home. So what does the Wizard of Oz have to do with God in this week's Torah portion? Well, we have to find it for ourselves. That's the key. It is always there for us, but we don't always realize it. It's constantly present, but almost always hidden. What is, you might ask? Home. Home is where we are our truest self and our relationships are most authentic. Home is how we are without the trappings of society and ego. Home is our heart center, our soul, the part of ourselves that is divine. It's the feeling of abundance within our hearts and a deep satisfaction that we have reached, we have everything that we need and indeed are rich in blessing. It is the part that often seems most difficult to reach but is with us all the time. So how do we reach that part of ourselves? Well, have you ever thought about how we walk? How we move through the world? Well, what is your gait like? Okay, these may seem like even stranger questions to ask, but pay close attention the next time you get up and move. In fact, get up now. I invite you to stand up and take a few steps. You've been sitting for a while. So stand up and walk forward and then walk backwards and notice what you notice. And then come and join me. Did you notice that the way we move in the world is by first striking our heel and then propelling forward with the rest of our weight? Okay, so now you may be even more confused. Let me backtrack or maybe forward track to keep things moving. This week's Torah portion is called Akev, which means as a consequence of, or because, or if, but it can also be translated as the heel of our foot. In the Parsha, there is a strong reminder that if we walk in the path of God, that all of the bounties, the riches, the treasures, if you will, promised to us by God will be ours. And while that reads in the literal sense, that is in the physical manifestation of wealth, 
it is likely also metaphorically a reflection about the attainment of emotional and spiritual wealth. I mean, we know from the previous partiot that wealth will not be evenly distributed amongst all the Israelites. So it can't just be about physical abundance. I mean, not everyone will get the guilt. Instead, we are taught that every person has the ability to find psychological prosperity that's defined as emotional and spiritual wholeness by setting down their heel and walking with God at God's heel as God's pet. There is an admonition for the Israelites to keep the commandments, the laws of Torah, and maintain our relationship with God, both emotionally and physically. Moses implores the Israelites to continue to follow the mitzvot given at Sinai. And we are told to name a few things, not to worship idols, not to fall into relationship with those that do not practice the same set of morals and ethical behaviors. So if we keep the covenant we agreed to at Sinai, because we have done so, we will be granted everything we need to be fulfilled. The Parsha can actually be summed up, as my sister always says, if you make good choices, you get good things. If you don't make good choices, you don't get good things. If we say that another way, as a consequence of following the commandments to heal, we are always right by God's side, leading, let, being led back to Kansas, to our state of fulfillment. So as I said a few minutes ago, heal is one of the translations of the world Akev. So an alternate explanation of the use of this word, the word heal, as the name of the parsha, is as a reminder about fulfilling the commandments of Torah. We must remember that we are not meant to walk over, i.e. ignore, or unknowingly squash the smaller mitzvot. After all, how do we really know which are big or little? I mean, it's easy to pay attention and see the big ones, right? Do not kill, be honest, do not worship idols. But they may or may not be more or less important than the others. I mean, only God truly knows that. Therefore, we need to mind our step, watch where we are going and take notice of how we move through the world. And when we get lost or wander away from our divine path, and who doesn't, then the way back to our true selves, when the way back to our soul seems impossible, all we need to do is to remember to click our heels, follow the mitzvot, and it will take us back to our Kansas, our homes, to ourselves where we walk with the Spirit of God. Shabbat Shalom. Yashikoach. 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 And uh, thank you so much, Deb, for sharing that Torah with us. And um, we are, as a community, privileged that uh, Deb teaches Torah on a regular basis. Uh, so as I said, Shabakti will be tomorrow. And uh, if you're not able to join her for that, uh, keep